Can you see your blind spots real easy in this car? No. Driving a mirror? No, definitely not. It's very hard. The way that's con the way that is conduced. You definitely need to turn your head over your shoulder to see all the traffic, right? Correct. Yes. But you still can't see your blind spots. <laughs> that's true. So that's using a regular mirror, which we see here. But if we take the mirror off and go to an ICU car camera view, how does that improve your view now? Dramatically. I can see cars literally right next to me now. Which one just passed, we missed. Uh, and I can also see both sides of the highway. Okay, so we're on the freeway. What kind of view do you have with the ICU car camera? I have full view of car right in my, actually in my blind spot. And I have, not that it's necessary, but the whole other side of the freeway actually going uh, north. So as soon as you see that car, it's like almost next to your car. Yes, it was. As soon as you see him in the monitor, he's pretty much right next to your trunk. Correct. All right, so check. Right now we're in standard view. This is the standard camera view. Now we're in wide angle view. So what's the difference between standard view and wide angle view for you? The car that was next to me, or the truck that was just next to me, was even more visible as I passed on my side in, in this mirror. Yeah, so you can see it. Even you can pretty much see a car in your blind spot yeah, all the way. All the way. Correct. Very. is right next to me and I could see the car's rear view, rear bumper, literally it's next to my door. That car is next, halfway, I'm halfway between, the, that car is halfway between my car and I can see it in the rear. Amazing. So would you say like you don't even have to turn your head to see cars anymore? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Crazy.